It's time for the Coca-Cola Southwest Beverages Porch. This morning, we are learning more about the emo pop band Cliff Diver from right here in Green Country. News on 6's Tess Monty is on the Coca-Cola porch with the band this morning. Good morning, Tess. Dave, Leanne, we have almost the entire band here. We've got six of the seven members. That's Brianna, Joey, Tyler, Elliot, Matt, Donnie, and just missing Gilbert this morning. Yeah. That's because Gilbert's out on an ambulance and as they said this morning, saving lives. So good morning, you all. Thank you so much for being here. I need to know if you have like coffee pumping through your veins because you have so much energy as we said here before the segment started. It's delusional energy for sure. <laughs> but yeah, we had IV drips of coffee this morning. We're ready to go. Good. Well, I need some of that whenever, uh, whenever we finish here. So you all formed the band Cliff Diver in 2018. Brianna, you joined in 2020. Tell us who Cliff Diver is and what your music is inspired by. Cliff Diver is a collection of all of us, and we really like to talk about mental health and about life in your 30s and growing up in the Bible Belt and what that means to us now, and we just like trying to help people. That's really all Cliff Diver is. What does it mean to you now? What does, it, growing up in the Bible Belt? Yeah. Then we have a lot to deconstruct. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tyler, you... There you go. Well, you all actually, the band was in an accident uh, six months ago where you were on I-44 headed to Vegas for a show and uh, a link from a chain crashed through the window, punctured two of your arteries and some of your bandmates say it's a miracle you survived, but you were back on tour a month later. How has that changed your life and your music? Really, all of you, what's that been like? Um, it's been incredible, really. Uh after the accident, now I feel like this is like a bonus life for me. So uh, being able to travel with all of my best friends, do what I absolutely love doing is a dream come true. So there's a lot of you, six of you here today, seven total. What is touring like with uh, seven people? It's, uh, it's a lot of fun and um, it can be very stinky. I don't know. <laughs> no, it, Probably it, for you, because it'd be the only girl with uh, six guys. A little guys. bit, that would be on the comment card. Um, but we, <laughs> we actually, after the accident, we went on our longest tour ever, which lasted about a month, which took us cross country, and it was incredible. Um, we've, it, I don't know, it gave us a new lease on, on life, but just touring each other, the music we make, and the gratitude that we have to be able to do what we do. Absolutely, so you all played at the historic Canes Ballroom just last month, your first time back in Tulsa, right? In a, about a year. What was it like yeah. to be back in your in your hometown? <laughs> it was incredible. I mean, we all grew up in Tulsa, so we dream of playing Canes and headlining Canes one day. So it was definitely a dream come true. Shout out Canes. Thank you for the uh, hospitality. Um, shout out the Racks. It's a, uh, it's a great shop here in town that uh, gave us some clothing for the uh, <laughs> for the event too so yeah it was a good time that's a great way to end 2023 what's ahead for 2024 you go, donnie. Donnie, you're up i am a hot <laughs> mic so we are recording in between like february and march and we're working on a new album and couldn't be more excited about it yeah. are you gonna go on tour you've got a tour coming up um <laughs> uh, We're passing uh, the microphone no around. Comment. Hot potato, hot potato, you're up. <laughs> Elliot. Oh, Elliot. Elliot, what do we have planned for touring? Nothing. <laughs> There's no, no plans Nothing. for touring? You're, you, no tours? Not as far as we know, no. Are not you hoping 20, to? Not for next year. What's really interesting, though, you, so you're in the band, but you all have day jobs. This isn't your your main gig. Absolutely, and that is that is six, seven bosses, so, you know, who are also very gracious about what we do, and um, we always. Okay, Shout out OK Pop. Shout out OK Pop. Yeah, thank you for being kind employers. Um, but it is, it is, we consider everyone that we work for and work with um, and our families kind of part of the team that make all of this possible for, for seven people to be able to go out on the road. A lot of us have kids, stepkids too, so it takes a large team, including very gracious employers, to help make that happen. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're here, Tyler, that you're doing well. Our conversation with Cliff Diver will continue over at newson6.com because with uh, six people here, we have a lot more to talk about. Back to you guys in the studio.